Hi guys, today I want to talk through some fall outfit ideas with you and also a focus on fall boots. I feel like they are the quintessential thing to add to any fall wardrobe to really elevate the style and also I, when I think of my own fall outfits, I generally like to have a more muted color palette and I also like to layer a lot. So I'm talking like long flowy cardigans and trenches and that sort of thing. And so with that, I like to add a little bit of height with my boots. So I was really excited when Nisolo reached out to partner together today. If you don't know, I've been fangirling over them for just literally years. It's been fun to watch them grow as a company. It's just not lost on me that I'm able to work with them today because back in the day, I was just so excited if they even liked my photo on Instagram and now to be working with them is just very special. I love that they have a focus on fair trade and they also have a big announcement tomorrow. So I don't wanna have any spoilers since I'm posting this a day before they announce it but I'll link you guys down below where you can find out about it once they announce it and then also they announced their new Andres for women so it's more of a menswear inspired shoe and Zach has a pair that he absolutely loves so yeah I can show you guys that they gifted those to him and he's just really really loves them a lot I guess we'll just get started with these fall outfit ideas and sort of talking through the heeled Chelsea's that I'll be showing today so I'll have everything linked down below just in case I don't necessarily remember the names of everything that I'm wearing today. But this is a Uniqlo cashmere sweater. I think that it's really nice because it's a thin layer. I was just talking to you guys over on my comments here on YouTube about how do I layer for fall? Like, do I avoid chunky sweaters? And the majority of time I do try to avoid anything chunky because I can layer more thin layers and just feel just as warm without all the bulk. So today, this is the Uniqlo, it's a turtleneck, it's 100% cashmere, and it's super thin. I'm wearing it with some cam pants, so I'm tucking those in. Because it's thin, I really can get a good tuck all the way around. And then the Jessie Cam Rangers are something that I've, again, like they're a signature piece in my closet. I love this color for fall as well. These are the Skin Tone 34s. I used to have them in a sailor pant. I say used to, I'm gonna be putting them in a closet sale soon. So wait out for that. Um, and then because this color works so perfectly with the brandy version of the Nisolo Chelsea boots, these are the heeled Chelsea's. And uh, so yeah, I just like that I'll be able to have a little bit of a heel as I add layers to it. The jacket that I want to wear today is actually an old one that I have from Free People. Their trenches are amazing. I feel like I just get a lot of use out of them and I like to be able to layer with something that's super light like this too because while it still is early fall, it's nice to be able to not have like big, huge, huge layers on all the time. It depends on where you are in the country too, but I like to be able to just kind of put my trenches on, even kind of like over my hair in the back. I just feel like it tames down the look a little bit because my hair is a little bit wild some days. And then also what I'm doing here is I've got something that's hitting me sort of knee length, just below knee which is a really good length for trenches. And I will link you guys to one similar. Again, this one's super old, so I just wear it forever, eternally. <laughs> and I also like to have the sleeves rolled up a little bit so that I'm exposing my sweater underneath. And it just has a really lovely look. This works really well because I'm wearing a really high rise pant. That's really one of the reasons why I invest in my Jesse Cam pants. They are something that is definitely a splurge but I don't consider it that because they last forever being that they're cotton canvas. And I also think that there are very few pairs of pants that flatter me and that I feel good in. So yeah, that's why I generally am a cam addict. For accessories, I'm using a couple of different shades of brown. You'll notice that with the whole outfit, I'm not trying to exactly match every single piece to each other verbatim, but I am sort of working within this tone. Uh, so it's sort of a monochrome outfit in theory, but I do like to be able to sort of nod to things like the trench is very similar to the bag. This hat is going to be really similar to the Uniqlo shirt as well as on the shoes. I've got sort of this darker accent color that is beautiful on the Chelsea's. So um, one thing too about hats this season, 
I've been wearing either fedoras or baseball caps and I do like the fact that this one is more of a leather option so it has a little bit more elevated style than the typical baseball cap but I've been loving that too. Um, I generally just wear them sort of down and I think that it gives a lot of these outfits with trenches and boots sort of a, a street style, almost athleisure look that I'm still dressing it up with plenty of jewelry and then also my bag. Yeah, outfit one in the books. So for outfit two, I wanted something that I could wear on days that can tend to be a little bit rainy or drizzly. For this outfit, I'm wearing the Black Nisolo Chelsea's. They're more weather resistant too, so that's gonna be great. And I wanna carry that color up through the socks. So you can see these pants are a little bit, they show the socks a little bit, and I think that that works really well if the socks look intentionally paired with the shoes. I really like that idea for days where it's a little bit chillier too, but these outfit pieces are very lightweight, so I wanna build on top of that with a warmer piece. So these are the Andy trousers, and this is the Parabola top. Both are from Elizabeth Suzanne. So this is a color that I think mixes very well with the moss and the black. So so it's a color combo that maybe you wouldn't initially think works well together, but I just love these pieces flowing all together. The jacket that I want to add on top has a beautiful sort of texture to it that really works well for an outfit like this. So I've got more muted and matte tones here. Even the boots are a little bit more on the matte side than on the patented, like glossy side. So I want to add something that adds a little bit of dimension and contrast. So this coat is going to be absolutely perfect for those rainy days because it comes with a hood and the hood is detachable too so I really like that feature as well. I like that even the collar is popped just a little bit. I know that people kind of freak out about popping collars and does that sense some sort of like weird vibe um, but it really doesn't if it's done well and sort of like this naturally pops. It's not like I'm over here trying to <laughs> make it pop up. I like the big pockets. I've been able to just run out to a store and just carry my wallet and that's been super convenient. But for those days where I actually wanna bring my purse, I can do that as well. By the way, this jacket is from Cezanne and then I'm just gonna be adding a few of the pieces that I love to wear this season. Um, one is my Chloe test bag and then the other, I've been loving this fedora that I got off of Matches Fashion. I'm not sure if they have any more of these available, but I can link similar. I also just think that adding these colors together is a beautiful idea where I've got something lighter on top. I tried a black hat as well and that worked okay, but just adding this sort of unexpected lighter camo color is a beautiful option. And then I'm carrying through a similar tone between my bag and my jacket. So all together, this is sort of a take on a Western outfit in the city, especially here around Nashville. It's been fun to add a hat when I want to and also having these heeled Chelsea's is sort of a take on you know, that Nashville cowboy theme, but still is very toned down um, and a beautiful option. I do think that these are pretty easy to walk into out of all of the boots that I've ever owned. They are something I can wear for everyday use and my feet really don't hurt ever, so. A third outfit for you guys. I am going to break down all the barriers today where I'm wearing white after Labor Day. I just think that it's a silly old rule that honestly came from a really weird place in history, separating old money from new money, and I just think that's completely irrelevant today. So I'm wearing white jeans and I want to pair it with a beautiful fall color. Um, so on top, I'm wearing that moss color again. This is an Elizabeth Suzanne piece again in the parabola top. And then I'm wearing my Nisolo heeled Chelsea's in brandy. So all together, I love these color combos. And on top of that, I just like to layer and layer. So first I'm going to add a long cardigan. I live by these in the fall because they're so light and versatile because I could wear them just on top of an outfit like this and I'm really good to go. Otherwise, I can definitely add on top of it with a thick coat and I'll get to that in a second. But I just like that this is a very muted and taupe sort of color on top of something that has more contrast to it. So I'm going lighter on this outfit than I would going darker, if that makes sense. Another cool thing that you can do with this sort of outfit is with your sleeves again. So I like to be able to reveal just a little bit of that color down from the shirt underneath and that just gives 
the outfit a little bit more of something interesting and yeah just something kind of like that where I can expose that a little bit but it's really up to you how you want to wear your outfit you can wear them completely down if you want to if you just want to be a little bit more cozy but having them sort of tucked up like this is beautiful I think if you're going to be wearing it coatless so this cardigan is from mango and then I'm wearing a Uniqlo coat on top what I like about this too is this unexpected lining color that's sort of this maroon wine shade and it adds just a little bit of a muted color to an outfit that is neutral and it still is unexpected so I like the look of how the cardigan is just a little bit longer than the coat so you'll see that hits me just about mid calf which is a beautiful angle for you petite people like me something that will lengthen and still I'm adding that dimension of height I think for me when I'm choosing boots they just have to have at least a little bit of a heel and that's why I love these because they're so walkable they're easy to walk in because the heel is quite thick and then it has that pointed toe so even though I'm not exactly carrying one color from my pants down to my shoes like I like to do to sort of lengthen and elongate my legs I am making the whole outfit come together and I'm not lost in it because those boots are pointed so just sort of a little tip there as well um, but yeah all together I love this outfit I love that it's bright and then of course I want to add my bag again so for my bag choice again I'm going with this daily edited bag that I wore earlier it's monogrammed and it's just fun to be able to wear something that's lighter in tone um, I think a lot of times in fall I sort of gravitate toward dark dark colors and black colors and that's a beautiful option but it's fun to be able to mix it up with some light and taupe colors and just sort of mix it that way as well. Finally, I wanted to show what it would look like to have a dress with boots. I think that some people have had questions on like how do you style a skirt for fall or a dress for fall? So this is what I'm doing today. I have a dress that I've been honestly wearing quite a bit this season. It's got a lot of weight to it, like it feels heavy, which is kind of comforting to be honest. Over top, I like to be able to style it more than just basically wearing a dress. So today I'm wearing a cropped sweatshirt on top. Um, so this is from Cotton with a K. I can link you guys down below for that. And I just like the idea of how that gives me a little bit added warmth and it also is carrying through that idea of wearing high-waisted pants. For me, it's really lengthening and sort of balances out my proportions again. So for the boots, I'm wearing my black Nisolo Chelsea's again. I'm also wearing those tall socks again. So that allows me to not have too much bulk where I was going to wear tights all the way up top, but I could do that if I wanted to. It just sort of makes the dress uh, sort of drape better without having the tights be like leggings that go all the way up and you can't tell but underneath this dress is actually a long sleeve um, I've actually put this in a different video a while back showing some outfit ideas as well next what I want to show you guys is this coat it's a very lightweight option it actually feels more to me like a cardigan but I believe that the listing online actually lists it as a coat this is from Uniqlo and one thing that I want to do is move my sleeves back down because I want to be able to sort of hold on to my sweatshirt before I put my sleeves through um, because there's a lot of fabric going on here but what I like is that anytime that I can have something that is more drapey that goes almost down to the floor then it really helps me to be able to balance out some of those uh, you know I've got lots and lots of layers on one thing that I wanted to say about this coat is that I really like the idea of it being something that is for those lighter days something I could wear uh, outside and feel very comfortable in this time of year and then as it gets colder I know that I'm already finding my Myself wearing this inside like with pajamas <laughs> so it's a good piece if you just want something that transitions well for different aspects and then I like the look of how this just has one button if you have an outfit that works well there um, but I really like the idea of showing off how you have this line here and then it sort of cuts down on any sort of like 
I have more of a curve uh, as a pear-shaped person, so that just helps me uh, sort of tone all of that down. On most days, I wouldn't even need a hat to add, but because some days in the fall are extremely windy, I like to be able to have um, just a little baseball cap to wear with that, and it really gives an outfit a different look, I think. Personally, just with my hairstyle, I like to be able to tuck it into my coats again, um, but you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. And then I wouldn't be lost without my test bag. I think that it's a nice addition that makes any outfit look a little bit more upscale. And altogether, these are my outfit ideas for fall with fall boots, with a boot that I have honestly loved to death. I wore these black Nisolo Chelsea's so many times last season that I feel like you guys we're like, really, is that her only shoe? <laughs> because I just wore them constantly on repeat. They go with just everything, and that water-resistant aspect is a beautiful component that just makes sense for practicality. And then adding that brandy pair to my collection, I'm just a very happy person. But thank you guys so much for watching and following along. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And thanks to Nisolo for working with me on today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.